It does seem like while the traders don't really know should they be long or short, and, and they're kind of doing more of the uh, the short term optimization, long term holders seem to be drastically still accumulating. Right, people who don't care about short term price movement seem to be unmoved by any of this price volatility, and they're actually taking the opportunity to buy more. Yeah, and and you know. The- I think it's really interesting because at the same time we have we have the long term holders that have been adding to their you know holdings over the last seven days, and then when you look you know it's it's almost like inversely correlated the 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 short term holders um, have been trending down so you get this and you know I don't know if this is a really good thing because obviously you you want to continually you know have coins move to people who aren't going to sell but. I think it would be nice to see some some new market participants come in and stay. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's a that's a great thing. Um, obviously, in in terms of you know building up that that base of of coins um, in terms of price, but just in terms of adoption, I think it it, it would be better to see new you know new entities come on. Um, but I mean that, that's not that's not the end of the world. But I think what what's interesting is. You know, when when we get to the previous, like at the top of cycles, um, you start to see, you know, retail really overtake um, a lot of the movement um, in, in, you know, in and out of exchanges and, and volume and things like that. Um, and, and they start to uh, tick up a larger portion of supply. And at the same time, you see the longer term holders sell off. And then in the bear market, you see the opposite. All the short term speculators move out because Bitcoin went down 80 percent. And, you know, when we get to the bottom um, of the bear, that's that's peak when when long term holders are accumulating because they've been through multiple um, cycles. So I think it's interesting right now that you're seeing and, and this is one thing that if, if I had to look at something that was that looked like a top, it would be this because um, you're starting to see the long term holders um, take up a larger portion of supply again. While short-term holders are, um, are are trending down, meaning you know they're, they're selling. Where you know in in previous cycles, it, it, it's almost like these lines had had crossed. Where where you know short-term holders really ramp up their holdings, and long-term holders begin to kind of sell into the strength. You know, mid to into the later phases of the bull market. So that's something I'm keeping my eye on because that's not something that's happened in, in previous cycles where midway through the cycle, um, you've seen the short-term speculators step out while the long-term holders are, you know, uh, coming in and, and scooping up those coins. But for, you know, this prolonged of a period of time, I, I just think that's interesting. What do you think the ramifications of that would be? Does that signal maybe potentially a bigger bull market, a longer bull market, maybe not a crash, uh, you know, at some point in the future, or we don't know yet? Yeah, um, I, I think it, it, it's showing that we're we're building this this stronger base up. Um, obviously, you know, it, it's not great for the adoption, like I said, but I, in terms of the coins, you know, uh, being locked up and, and building up this floor, I think this is good um, in, in that sense. So yeah, I think if if this, you know, if this continues and, and coins continually are moving to um, these these long-term holders, um, perhaps we're, we're in this, you know, strong accumulation zone. Um, but it's just a question of can, well, you know, if, if, if that were the case, um, how, you know, how long are they able to kind of hold the floor while, while new sellers are, are moving out? Um, and, and, you know, what's the offset between the, those two forces? But um, I, I think it's, I think it's kind of neutral. Um, I just, I think if you, if you see um, continued accumulation by um, long-term holders and this trend continues now where I'm seeing this, this reversal where, where the short-term holders are, are selling off and long-term holders are continuing to add, um, I think perhaps the, the structure of the like the underlying forces behind the cycle are, are perhaps different than previous ones.